In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to show you how you can take your digital handwritten notes and make them searchable in Evernote. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I have been inspired by the great Steve Dotto. Now a few weeks ago or maybe a few months ago Steve Dotto put together a video explaining his reasons why he's staying with Evernote and the three things that he absolutely loves. There is a link to that video up there. Now, the reason why this video inspired me was because now I live in the digital world and this year one of my goals is to go completely 100% paperless. And that means my handwriting notes need to be done on my iPad. Now, I've been playing around with this for the last few weeks and one of the things that I've always felt is that Evernote's handwriting tool sucks. Now, that's just my own personal opinion. I have to admit it has got better in the last year, but it's still not quite good enough for me to want to use it all the time. However, that said, Apple's Notes app and Microsoft's OneNote app, their handwriting tools are fantastic. And so one of the reasons I don't use OneNote myself, although I do have it on my iPad for experimenting, but I do use Apple Notes for this and I've always like handwritten notes using Apple Notes because it just works seamlessly obviously on the iPad. So taking Steve Dotto's idea with his handwritten notes I thought well can you do the same with your digital notes and the answer to that is yes you can. So what I'm going to do is in this episode I'm going to show you how to do that and how to make your notes searchable. So before we go any further though I would just like to say if you like this episode please click on the like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet oh please subscribe. Okay let's go into Evernote and Apple Notes and I'll show you what I mean. Right so the first thing I need to do is to write out a note which is what I'm going to do. So productivity tip. What goes on your calendar gets done. Very important. And that should be period. So that's the note and what we now need to do is to scan that note into your Evernote. So this is normal standard and Steve Dotto gave a very good example of this. And sure enough, there it is. And what I need to do now is to save that. And I need to choose. Now, the problem here is if you choose photo, uh, it comes up like this and it's not very clean. So choose document and you get a much cleaner image and save that into your Evernote. OK, so that's your uh, paper version. Now let's go into Apple Notes and I'll show you on the iPad. So let's make another note here. So let's select the right pen and you can now see how badly I hold a pen when I'm writing. I've been doing that all my life. So here we go. Productivity tip. And what should I write? Okay. Use your calendar wisely. Full stop. Okay, so that's the note that we've got in our Apple Notes. And now all we have to do is take that note and send it using the share sheet direct to Evernote. So here we go. Just put productivity tip and save and send that off. Okay, so now we go into my Evernote and we have a look. And here's the the note that I wrote and it's all in here and here is my Apple Notes note. So they are both now in my in, in my Evernote and so all I need to do is the first thing you do need to do though is you need to check. 
So you check by going into your note detail and you'll see down here image status all images have been indexed. Now that's key because if they've not been indexed the OCR is not working yet and sometimes it can take a few minutes for it to do that. I've known it actually in the old days <laughs> and I say in the old days a couple of years ago it used to take half a day to a day before it actually indexed. These days Evernote's indexing is very very fast and if we look at the productivity tips that I wrote on my on my iPad and as you can see when you actually send it direct to the from the iPad you actually get a, a very very clean uh, note that's in here and it is a note and it's not a huge A4 note it just takes the note that you've actually written on which is really really good so let's do a, a simple one so we go to the snapshot now I've got loads of articles obviously in here with productivity so I'm going to take this word period and what I'll do is we'll just go out of that for a moment and I'm going to type in period so period and I'm going to hit return and you'll see that sure enough that comes up and it's searched it's found it it's absolutely fantastic now another one that we'll do is I'll use the word calendar let's say uh, I made some notes on calendar so calendar uh, oops I've got to spell it right Cal calendar uh, hit return and that's going to come up here and sure enough it's indexed and it's called my digital note so you can actually get the benefits of the writing system without having to use Evernote's horrible handwriting system that they have in on their iOS. I'm hoping that that is one of the things that Evernote are going to be working on this year to make their handwriting and their digital handwriting experience much much better but Apple Notes for example is fantastic and I believe OneNote is also a, a fantastic as well so you could actually do it from OneNote I'm fairly certain anyway and send it over to your Todoist that, your Evernote that way so there you go that's one of the most fantastic ways that you can actually use uh, the handwriting functionality on your iPad and if you've got one of those new gorgeous iPads then Apple Notes is the way to go if you want to write your digital notes and then store them in Evernote and they are fully fully searchable using their OCR technique. Well thank you very much for watching this episode it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to creating your own COD system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.